right? It makes us feel a little better. <laughs> okay, so today we continue our series honoring Hispanic authors in our community. Today we're going to introduce you to Kali Fajardo Einstein, who teaches at Texas State, and her work has been nominated for national awards. Her most recent novel, Woman of Light, is a national bestseller. Ken's Five reporter Alyssa Tejas shares how family plays a pivotal role in her storytelling. She considered her collection of guns before reaching for her Remington shotgun. The world is full of stories. Hoisting the familiar weightiness of its Damascus double barrel. Some are so close to us, they have the power to shape our lives. So I always wanted to be a writer since the time I was a really little girl. For Kali Fajardo Einstein. I come from this really big multicultural Mexican-American family in Colorado. Her inspiration is her family. My great-grandma Esther and my Auntie Lucy, they came north to Denver from southern Colorado in the 1930s. And they just told these incredible stories of triumph. They picked grapes, uh, they, picked gre uh, they picked beets in the, the field. Kali's latest novel, Woman of Light, was released in June. Luce saw it right away. The novel follows Luz Lopez. The swell of life at her center. Please come with me, hermana, Maria Josie pleaded. A tea reader and laundress inspired by her Aunt Lucy. I just sat down and I thought about what were the emotions like for my great grandma and my aunties. It took her 10 years to write the novel. After I wrote a whole book, I realized I didn't have enough information. I needed to do research. So slowly I started going into archives, going to museums. But often I found that our stories were not in these institutions, so I started interviewing a lot of my elders in their homes. She walked to Denver, but of course in those days people would give you a ride. That is the voice of Esther Fajardo, Kali's great-grandmother. And I remember listening to them and just feeling just chills all over my body. For one, I got to hear my great-grandma's voice again. It had been so long. But she was talking about some very serious things. Like her ancestors, Kali has her own story of triumph. I was a struggling student. I was dealing a lot with mental health and depression. And my grades were, had just been terrible for years. I went to school and the teacher right away said she needed to pull me out into the hallway. If I were you, I would drop out. So she did. It wasn't long, however, before she went back, getting her GED from Metropolitan State University of Denver. And my relationship with education totally changed after that moment. Why? I suddenly saw myself in textbooks. She went on to get her master's and wrote her first book, Sabrina and Corina, a collection of short stories, nominated for a National Book Award, also creating connections right here in San Antonio. And I came and I spoke at San Antonio College um, and it was during Fiesta. And I was just like, this is the most beautiful and like enchanting city I've ever seen. Um, so San Antonio has like retained a very special place in my heart. She's now teaching at Texas State University as an endowed chair for creative writing. Is there an impact you want to have? I want Chicano literature to be part of mainstream American literature. To continue to share stories that celebrate where we come from. The future generations of my family will always have this novel. And there's so many families that have similar backgrounds and I think they'll really connect to the characters in Women of Light. Alyssa Tejas, Ken's Five. She's come a long way from those dark days and it just shows you if you put your mind to something, you could do whatever it is and be successful like her today. And as young as she is to do that, that's awesome.